Hello, fellow Nigerians. The mind-boggling questions on the minds of Nigerians on Obasanjo's judgment about Atiku in his book is that how will Obasanjo expunge those judgments, those facts, those truths he wrote about Alaji Atiku Abubakar? What I did not know, which came out glaringly later, was his parental background, which was somewhat shadowy. His propensity to corruption, meaning corruption flows in his blood. We got a letter from America in June 2006, listing a number of people to be investigated. Atiku was one of them. Atiku was one of them. That letter went straight to uh, EFCC. Atiku was one of them. It was just shown to me because they will not be able to investigate my number two without my saying, okay, if we get this letter from America, so be it. His tendency to disloyalty. He's not loyal. His inability to say and stick to the truth at all times. I do not say that people in my government were not corrupt. Uh, uh, Vice President had something to do with uh, Jefferson, which is part of the case in, um, in America. A propensity for poor judgment, my God. Atiku has a very poor judgment. We cannot trust the leadership of this great country in his hand. The, the first thing I found was that Atiku's judgment was not right and on, on the number of occasions i pointed this out nobody with such propensity for poor judgment can be a good leader so um, i do his belief and reliance on marabout is a public knowledge that a marabout told him that he will rule nigeria his lack of transparency is not transparent his trust in money to buy his way out on all issues, like he did during the PDP presidential primaries, where he was sharing five five thousand dollars to delegates, he believes he can buy Nigerians. But the truth is, Nigeria is not for sale. President Carter came to me one day and said, oh, "You know, Mr. President, we appreciate what you are trying to do, but..." There's corruption very near you. I felt his sense and I felt worried. Of course, he was referring to my number two. And I could not, in good conscience, ask my number two to be investigated. This was in my first time. It's either I talk to him, which I did, or when there's a second opportunity, I put him aside. But the Americans wrote and asked, among others, that he should be investigated. His readiness to sacrifice morality, integrity, propriety, truth, and national interest for self and selfish interests. Now the question is, has Satiku Abubakar accepted this judgment about himself? Has this changed? Obasanjo said if he support Atiku, God will not forgive him. Now that he's supporting Atiku, will God forgive him? With what I know about Atiku, which you can read in my book. Okay, read the book. Are you a member of his family? If, with what I know about Atiku, if I have put Atiku forward, God will not have forgiven him. Okay. It's a shame that people can mortgage their souls, their conscience for material things at the expense of this country.
Atiku cannot be lawyer. He's corrupt. Where Nigeria is today was put by these very two characters, Obasanjo and Atiku. Remember what we did together in government. We ran an administration by Nigerians for all Nigerians. When they mortgage everything for their own personal interests, what Nigerians should be asking Obasanjo right now is this. Why the sudden support for Atiku? Why? When he stated clearly that if he support Atiku, God will not forgive him because of his perception, his judgment on him. Could it be that he has received gratification? My former vice president has shown remorse, has offered apologies, has asked for forgiveness. Could it be that he's mortgaging his conscience at the detriment of the Nigerian interest, the interest of our great nation, the interest of our children, even our children's children, children. Nigerians cannot be fooled. Atiku is not the answer. Atiku cannot be trusted. Atiku cannot be loyal to the Nigerian state.